guys welcome back to another video a little bit different today uh the markets are down bad like really bad let's take a look at the s p 500 let's look at some of the us indices if you trade them and then we'll take a look at the dollar for us currency traders for those of you who trade indices today's going to be an action-packed video if you enjoy make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and let's jump in take a look at this with me you guys for just a second and uh, i'll pop my camera there so you can see my pretty face guys it is ugly out here let me show you just a grand scheme of things, what's going on in this market that we're looking at. Now, whether you're a currency trader, whether you trade indices, cryptos, doesn't matter. This market has been devastating to so many investors around the world. This has been a really tough year, 2022, and whether you're trading actively on the currencies market, commodities market, this video pertains to you, and I'll show you exactly why. Take a look at with me. We're going to go through some markets here together. We take a look at the S&P 500 here in 2022. Uh, down, down bad. Uh, the NASDAQ, probably the worst hit of the list. And uh, we're, we're looking at a point where it hit over 25%. In fact, from the highs, we are down at 1.31%, you guys, in the just this year. You know, you're talking about a year-to-date move of around 30% to the downside on tech stocks. It's a scary market environment. And the question comes to you guys at home and for myself, what the heck do we do about this? How are we supposed to trade this? How we take advantage of this here in the year where there is tragedy, there's also opportunity. So we want to talk a little bit about that. Let's continue down the list for a second. Here's US 30. This is Dow Jones. These are supposed to be the safe, reliable companies. And you can see uh, people aren't feeling so safe right now. Even the Dow around 16% at the worst, 17% down from the highs that we formed early 2022. You keep going. Take a look at gold. Gold has collapsed. You know, the safe haven asset itself falling down here, crumbling from the highs. So you, you've got to ask yourself, you got to be sitting there at home and saying, you know, what happened to this safe uh, stock market, to this safe, you know, commodities where I can just buy gold and hold and I'm doing, doing well. That hasn't been working very well. And, um, you know, the cool thing here for us active traders is that this market is terrible for investors but it's incredible for traders. And I'll get to that in just a second. I wanna give you guys more information on the market that we're in so that you're better informed. Here's a look at silver. Silver down 19% from its highs. Just an incredible sell-off there. Uh, we keep going down. You've got oil here. Oil is propped up. And some of you guys are wondering, why am I paying so much at the gas pumps? This is why, you guys. And this is also why we have inflation problems around the world. Guys, the UK hit 9% inflation. The U.S. is following just behind, but it is incredible out there. And these energy uh, situations where you have rising energy prices and you have uh, a massive rate hiking cycle that's starting here in the U.S. We've got the Fed rate hiking. We've got the U.K. trying, Canada trying. They're all trying to race to raise rates to try and combat inflation. And the fear is that it's not going to be enough. So we'll get to currencies in a second. But I wanted to start just with the, the macro effects. The stock market is down terribly. The commodities market is down terribly. And there's no, the scary thing here is that there's no real end in the near-term vision of market investors. In fact, Wall Street is like super freaked out right now. Wall Street itself is like, don't buy stocks, get out of stocks, get out of commodities, get out of investments, go into cash. Which brings me to something very, very interesting. You guys have been watching it on the channel. We've focused on the dollar for a long time, but increasingly new, I mean, more and more people I feel like are focusing on this story that we have been talking about on the channel for a while. The dollar's rise to power. We've seen the dollar just be this monstrosity of a machine to the upside. And you've got to ask yourself, why is this? Well, there's several factors. Number one, people are going into cash, right? People are taking money out of stocks. That drives the, the value of cash up, right? If you sell your, your stocks, there's a sudden demand for lots of lots of cash for people who want to pull their cash out, right? That's, that's one variable. Another reason is the Fed rate hiking is making the currency itself more attractive as people are less incentivized to buy risky stocks that have debt and more willing to buy bonds, more willing to hold cash, things that have, you know, it's becoming a more of a savers market, which is active to strengthen the USD on a macro scale. All of that considered, what does that do for us active traders? Well, I want to show you guys an interesting chart that you might find uh, a little bit interesting to look at. This is the VIX. The VIX is an indication of basically uh, sentiment as well as volatility. 
the volatility index, feel free to take a look at this on your own time, but what you'll see is that the volatility has been increasingly high in recent times with the markets dropping with things fearful. Investors and traders alike are taking advantage of this volatility. And as a trader, this is an excellent time. I, at least in, in my style of trading, my trading has been going very, very well in the context of all this stuff. But when you take a look at volatility up, what that means is that markets are spooked. We had the 2020, of course, that massive rise here, followed by a period of decreasing infl uh, not inflation, decreasing volatility as basically we had the stock market rise, but boom, baby, the volatility's back. We've got volatility, and this is, again, this is an opportunity for traders. How is this an opportunity for traders? Let's take a look at that. As traders, we don't necessarily care if the stock market is going down. Now, I have to be, my, I've got a, a foot in each camp, if you will, because I do invest in stocks. Um, I have, these are all my stocks. If you guys would like to pause and look at my pain. Uh, I mean, look at some of these stocks today. Uh, today was just a slaughterhouse of a day. I had Shopify down 7% on me. Tesla, my biggest holding, down 6% in a single day. It's obviously a really rough market for investors. But I will say this, my trading has been going really well. So I sort of have a hedge there. And I trade and I invest, I do both. Uh, and of course, sometimes one looks better than the other right now. Trading looks a lot more attractive because stocks, everything you buy, it just keeps going down and down and down. And every share that I buy just turns red. So there's always a, you know, one thing looks better than the other. Sometimes my trading is going poorly and I'm like, maybe I love to, you know, I, maybe I should just stick more money in my investing and be patient. Anyways, despite, uh, beside the point, what I wanted to get to is that as traders, we can take advantage of this volatility. There's been some excellent trend trading opportunities. I've been trading things like CAD Swiss. I caught a long trade. Some of you guys might have seen my trade. Uh, basically, I caught this move here. I caught some of the action here. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, you may have seen some of my recent live trades where I basically was long CAD Swiss. I was going with the volatility, right? This volatility causes these great impulsive moves. And as a trader, we can capture that. So going into this next week, I want to show you guys something that might be helpful to you as an actor active trader. Taking advantage of this volatility is understanding that, okay, let's, let's think about this for a second. The volatility is high. Markets are fearful. Markets are swinging and they're like a drama queen. I used to call this thing a drama queen market all the time. When we were looking at 2020, we looked at gold prices. We look at the stock market. It was a drama queen market. It was up, it was down, it was crazy. Us as traders, we can take advantage because you can take that into account. The fact that the market will be flying one direction and it may go for a really far distance and you can capture some of that. When I take a trade, let's say that I'm short biased on gold. Let's just say I think gold is coming back down and I am bearish on this. So let's just say that going into like next week, I'm looking to take advantage of some sell opportunities on gold. I could be completely wrong about this. And whenever I make an idea on YouTube, please understand I am not 100% correct. No trader is. There's nobody who has like a 90% accuracy. It'd be nice. But unless your, your take profit is 10 pips and your stop loss is 100. But the thing is, my point with this is that, okay, let's say that you have a bias, right? The cool thing about high volatility markets in my experience as a trader is that if you're correct about a move, you can be very correct about a move. So for example, gold has been falling. We've been downtrending on gold. Uh, we've actually had a bias on the sell side on gold. Here's the A1 Edge Finder, which by the way, you can pick up a copy in the description down below. If you would like it, uh, click that link. You can sign up for a copy of the A1 Edge Finder. But look at this, gold has been a sell reading for us. I won't go too much in detail. You can watch the video on the Edge Finder if you'd like. Just search up A1 Trading Edge Finder on YouTube and you'll be able to find this. But we have a sell bias in this one. This one's been one that we were focused on. Well, um, you know, gold, let's say that you, you take a trade. The cool thing about high volatility markets is that let's say price pops up into our range. We say, okay, bam, we got 61.8 next week. It looks good. And let's say I'm sell biased. I have the potential to catch an incredible runner because volatility is so high. If it moves in my favor, it could drop like a rock, right? That's the cool thing about volatility. Now, volatility sucks when it's against you. It sucks when I buy a stock and, you know, here's, a, here's an example, Target. Some of you guys know Target. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Target. It's a really big business. Look at Target this week, you guys. Target fell off a freaking cliff. It was trading not so long ago around the 250s, and here it is now at the 150s. This is like a cookie cutter example of a safe stock, 
And that's the problem with stocks. That's the problem with, with anything. The markets are not safe, right? We saw that happen with the crypto market, tanked by half. Luna, right, collapsed to nothing. You've got stock after stock falling off of a cliff. So the point is this high volatility is really scary for some investments, and you got to be very careful out there. But for the traders out there, there's some opportunity in all this to take advantage. Now, if you're taking a look at the S&P 500 with me, where's it going? Well, right now we did close. Ultimately, it is the weekend at filming this. We did close out positive for the day, which is kind of incredible, to be honest, because today was a a spit show, if you will. It was crazy out there, man. It was like stock after stock that I was watching just fell off a cliff. And then you had uh, just anything. Everything was falling. But anyways, we ended the day positive. We put in an interesting candle, so it will be interesting to see if we can find a bottom here next week. But I just wouldn't assume that it's a bottom until it's a bottom, because the problem is look at all of these attempts to go higher. If you're trading the U.S. indices right now, it would be, in my opinion, it would be really foolish not to pay attention to this pattern that we're seeing. Remember, if you guys have been trading for a while, you may have remembered that in 2020, every dip got bought every single last dip and it was for a reason the fed was out there with a big big willingness to buy the dip the fed was in there pumping money into the system stimulus checks people buying stocks right we had such a backing from the fed during this time the problem is you guys we have the opposite happening now the fed has inflation to deal with it can't go stimulating the economy because that's just going to put pressure on their balance sheet. The Fed is not there to help us so much. Now, things could change. And again, as a trader, we're focused on what is the now. We're not looking to try and you know predict everything that's coming next. As an investor, I'm buying stocks. Full transparency, I've been buying stocks for weeks. I'm going to keep buying stocks. If they keep going down, I'm going to buy more stocks. I sound like a, I sound like a, I should be like holding a cigarette, smoking like a cigar or something. I don't know. Don't do that. It's bad for you. Um, <laughs> I've been buying stocks and I'll keep buying stocks. But the problem is, right, as an investor, that's okay because I'm, I'm averaging down. I'm long term. That's fine. But as a trader, you can't just assume the bottom is in because you had a little bit of a, but, uh, a bump to the upside, right? When we see this thing every single time it rallies, it gets sold into, you've got to pay attention to the pattern. In the short term, until that changes, until the nature of this sees a higher high, this is what the market, the stock market, if you trade the S&P, if you trade the NASDAQ, if you trade the Dow... If you trade the UK 100, whatever you trade, the thing is, we need it. We need a higher high. We need a higher low. We need something from this market to show us that the buyers are there. Because right now, every time we get a little pop, that's selling at a premium, right? People feel like they don't want to trust stocks. They don't want to hold risky assets. Now, one last thing, one last point I want to make to you guys who are currency traders, you guys. Check this out. If you are looking at this and you say, well, I don't really trade S&P 500, Nick. I like your videos. I'm supporting you to the end because you don't usually talk about this. Well, you're right. I don't usually talk about this. And, and thank you for supporting the videos, by the way. Um, here's the thing, right? If you're watching currency markets only, this market still applies to you. What you're looking at right here is a reflection of market sentiment from the buyers and the sellers. We're looking at the daily chart in the S&P. What does this represent? It represents risk tolerance. If this thing's going down, guess what else is likely going down to? High risk currencies, GBP. What else is going down? Aussie dollar going down. It's not coincidence that these charts look similar. In fact, it's the opposite of uh, coincidence. It's correlation. Because the S&P is a reflection of higher risk assets being sold or bought, whether it's going up or down. The Aussie dollar compared to the dollar, which one are you going to trust more likely? Are you going to bet on the Aussie dollar or the U.S. dollar as a safe haven if the markets were to crumble? Which one do you want to hold on to? You might be saying, I'm a crypto boy. I don't want either one. They're both fiats. They're going to nothing. Okay, fine. What? You know, that's you. Uh, <laughs> As currency traders, though, we've got to be objective. We've got to say, which one is the market going to value more? And it's going to be the U.S. dollar in a risk-off environment. When people are scared, when people don't want to hold stocks, when people don't want to hold risk, when people want to have cash, they're going to go to the dollar. They're going to hold the dollar with their, with their life. And that is why, we go back to the dollar for a second, that's why the dollar is up like a rocket, okay? 
the point is with all this stuff, you guys, as a trader, take advantage of the volatility. It can be, you also need to adapt as a trader. Takeaways from this video, you need to trade with the volatility, right? Volatility can be good if you know how to use it, but you need to adjust. And to adjust, some simple things that you could try. Number one, you should test your concepts in this recent environment. Jump on your demo testing, jump on your, um, you know, back testing softwares if you got them. Forex Tester 5 is the one I love. Um, check out how things are different from, from six months ago, from a couple years ago. It's different. This is a different market. Things are moving more. So what that might mean is you might need to widen stops with a smaller lot size, right? You might need to reduce your position size. You might need to take less trades. You might need to take more trades. If you've got something that's working in this environment, play with it, but study the difference because this market environment, I'm telling you guys, this is a different market than we have been trading in the last couple of years. Things have changed here. High volatility is very good for some strategies and very bad for others. If you have something where you, you know, um, where you trade reversals, this is a tough market for you. If you're a trend trader, this has been excellent. My trading has been really, really solid this year. Uh, whereas my investing has not gone so well, but despite the point, Focus on the volatility. Focus on the changing market environment that we're in. And don't let it leave you behind. This is just a tip for traders, a tip for investors. You know, reevaluate what you're doing. Take some time maybe this weekend or, or take a few days off from your trading. Reevaluate things and be careful that you don't let the volatility wipe you away. You know, that's something to think about. Guys, pick up the Edge Finder if you haven't already. There is a link down below in the description. We're doing 40% off. If you would like our trading tool, I mentioned it earlier. If you want to try it, click the link down below in the description. Check it out. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.